Hello everybody, this is Sonia, I'm in Australia and sorry about this, I'm just moving some of this stuff back just so I can do this. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit more on this piece here because I'd like to to get it done. Um, so this is for people that haven't, you know, well anybody can learn from it I suppose. Um, this is just things that I've learned and what I do. Now, I'm going to put something, oh, I think I might put a bit of this on here, you know, because I really like that. And it's red, and that's okay. And what do you reckon about that, a bit of that? That's going to give it a bit of a lift, isn't it? You know, because that'll make it really nice. This one here's been sitting there thinking, of, I'm thinking about that little piece. I don't know if I've got any um, red just handy at the moment that I would use in place of that. Um... So I didn't didn't get any boxes down today, but I've still got stuff here from yesterday. <coughs> excuse me, that I was working on. <coughs> Don't know where my voice is. Anyway, um, so I thought I might put that there. I think that might look good. Just a bit, just a bit of it though. We're not going to put too much now. Um, should I just put a bit of glue on that or melt it? That'll be all right, I suppose. It should work, I hope. If we don't set fire to ourselves, I think we'll be all right. Just don't go too close. There you go. I think it's done. Yeah. It won't go brown if you don't go too close. <laughs> okay, so I don't want a very long piece. Well, I will have a piece left about this long. This is really nice... Um, Flash rick rack, isn't it? I know we could put a glue on there, but I don't want to play with fire. <laughs> Not really, but I'm just. You only have to go a tiny bit. There, and you've got that. I'll just move that out of there. You only have to press the button, that thing lights. I don't want to be setting fire to something. Oh dear. Alright. Now I've got a piece of this. Where am I going to put it? Uh, it could go through my circle. That could work, yes. Because you know, and I've got beads. Got some red beads. And I'll do a bit more blue stitching. Um, well, I've got the, I think I've got the thready ready to go, and then I'll turn it on the camera. So we're having a really nice day here today in Australia. The weather's really good. Last night it was cold. It was cold. I've got the I've got the window open in here, and I could hear something zooming like machinery, you know. And I could hear hitting like a canal. And I called my husband in to ask him what who was doing that, and it was him. <laughs> He's um. I might just do a couple more stitches across this one first to hold it down, and then I'll oh ah. Oh. That really hurt. That really did hurt bad. <laughs> Goodness me. Anyway, so we're just going to do a couple of stitches on this first to get started. Oh dear, I didn't put the timer on. Okay, that gets to the six or the seven because I want to do a bit on here today. We need to need to get it done, don't we? See these needles sharp. But this is what we want though. There's nothing worse than doing something with a blunt needle. I don't know if I've got these lined up properly, but as long as it's stitched nice, it'll be fine. I need to make a cover for the gypsy or boho one that I'm doing. I've um, decided I'm going to use a few few pieces of um, um, printables, I think, because I've I've got a lot of stuff, but I want it to be more what I haven't got, if you understand. <laughs> I don't have what I really want to put in it, so I'm going to do some printables. I bet you I can go on there. It doesn't cost, they don't cost very much, but then you've got to print them off, you know, so yourself, and that's all right. 
don't mind doing that. And I'm not pulling, don't want to pull this too tight, make it too loose because then you don't have the effect of it looking like it's a little bit padded, okay? I'm just going to do this for a minute. Make sure you go over that edge. Well, the ones that I did that I did before, it's not you know coming undone or anything. It's just perfectly fine. You know, I'd like to do something a bit bigger with something like this, but the patience and the time isn't a thing. I didn't sleep much last night. That wasn't fun. Oh. I couldn't decide whether I was out of cold. <laughs> I got in the bed. I had the, we had the door open, the bathroom window open, our window open, the fan going, and everything was fine. But after a while, it started to get really cold, and I had to get Jeremy to get up and close close all the windows and doors, and, and turn off. I turned off the fan, and that didn't work. So I thought I got him to get up and do the other things because I'm not allowed wandering around in the night time is I have to go to the door <laughs> cars I fall down which is not good ever since I've fallen down I can't do anything because you get a fallen down but I'll be right I came in here this morning by myself while he was up the street and I'm okay and you think you know but what if I wasn't but, it's, but I am so <sighs> because I don't want to be if I fall down too much, they'll come and take me away, won't they? <laughs> they'll take me away. No, they won't. And I don't want to be stuck in a chair all my life. I want to be able to move about, so you've got to keep going, don't you? you got to keep moving. Yeah, so he's round there cutting up a tree. Well, the dead parts off a tree, There's a, there was a dead tree up the back and he, put, he had cut it down. And usually when it's not fire, when it's no fire band, he can do it in a drum that he has. But because there's a fire band now because of the weather, he's cutting it up to put it in the bin because we have a, you have a green bin for your, them bits of stuff, I mean, you know, waste. We don't put it out because we don't put all our waste in the compost, but the... Bits of, little bits of tree left to put there. He came in today and he said, oh, they, they've got peach trees fairly growing up the back flat out. He said, they're only five foot high. And they just grew themselves. They just popped up there all by themselves out of whatever peaches we would have thrown out there. We had peach trees years ago. I suppose they could have been in the ground just waiting to come back again or something. Because when it was, it was really good, but when the drought... We had all that drought for years and there was nothing happening. But now we got some pictures anyway to put up in, on Facebook. He took this morning. I don't know if he took some of the trees. I hope so. I think with only not many places, not many houses in this street have got trees in their yard. People move in there, take all the trees out. It's ridiculous. We got them everywhere around the side of the house, one out the big bit out the front, up the other side of the house, up the back. You gotta have trees. Besides them being beautiful, they give us air to breathe, don't they? Kind of sort of, you know, it's all to do with the, how it works. And then, and you just noticed the other day too, the ones up the street that they're putting the main street are starting to grow really good and it's about time too because we've never really, and for all these years, they've never had any trees and that up there for shade. But now they probably they put them up there and they're starting to grow a bit. So that's good. Okay, so here I am at the end of that. And I like that, I think that looks really good. I'll give you a better look in a minute. Oh no, don't tell me I bled all over this. That's not that's not nice, is it? Looks like I might have done. Which finger did I stab? I don't even know now. That's not good. <laughs> ah well. Got a piece of me on it now. Is that what that is? It could be. 
yeah, from when I just stabbed myself and I said, geez, I don't, but I don't even know where that come from now. It's dried up in any way. Sorry about that. I don't know what that is. A bit of something not good. A bit of black. Oh, it's only the thread. A bit of black piece in the thread. The thread in it. Okay. Now I'm going to do up here. Put this up here. I've decided to put that that way. That little thing was balking me a bit, but I'm not going to put that there, I don't think. Now I need some. I'll get some red. I'll just stitch that on, and I'm going to do more stitching in the red on it as well. This is a um, cotton embroider that I'm using, and I've got from the um, thrift stores. I'm going to go and get some more because you still got more there. I don't mind if I buy it. 16 yards, size 18, it says. Need a bit of sticky on that. I want to keep that on there. Just use a bit of masking tape. Well, it's really old, so it's coming unglued, isn't it? I'll put that back on there a bit better than that, Sonia. Oh dear me, these little birds are going again today. They always are out there. Having, they was out there chatting away last night really late too. It doesn't really bother me. I, they don't really worry me at all. I just, he's probably been out there talking for a while and I only just noticed. Oh dear, now the phone's ringing. I bet you that's my daughter ringing me back because I rang her this morning and she never answered me, so. Oh, Jeremy's got it. I think. I'm gonna be there. Wait a minute. Must be her. I'll have to ring her back again later. Yeah. Oh, it's like really hard to get her to answer the phone. Fair dinkum. We're doing something. That's the oldest one. I spoke to her for a while. I don't know what she's up to. She must have enough to, not to say, Dad's only going here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's probably not going to be happy with me. I told her, I'm going to have to tell her that she can't, well, her time to come to visit will be in the night time instead of day for Christmas. Because now the baby's here, the baby's going to be here through the day. And the girls are not very friendly towards one another. They only make things bad if they, if they don't do anything. They don't fight or nothing. They just glare at <laughs> They just don't speak. And it's really, really hard to be in the room with them when they're like that. I've been like that for years. Now I've got to do more. Up and down here. Well, I'll go that way. I'll just end that bit off first. Well, like I said, you can put anything on that you want to, you know, or you can just do it plain. Um, you add lots of things to it if you like, and it gives it a bit more of a look. Uh, if he gets off that phone and I go out there and I'll say to him, What did Peg say? Oh, nothing. <laughs> And then later on he'll tell me. <laughs> he bears a bit like that. He just doesn't seem... Men have been a funny one day sometimes. I might start over here for this. For this red bit. I don't know why, but I'm going to. It's just a sort... Just a thought. Go through here. Jeremy just told me 
I can tell you because it's not something that you know. Not it's not. I don't know him either. But he just said that when he went up to the credit union a while ago, there was a lady in there in in front of him, and she said, "Can you put a hundred thousand dollars into such and such account?" She said, "Because I'm going overseas." Or a trip around the world. Well, there you go. <laughs> Don't think I'd fancy that myself. <laughs> he said he didn't have a hundred thousand to get out. I said, but you don't want to go around the world, do you, Jerry? <laughs> he said, no. <sighs> Gee, that'd be a big thing to take. I <laughs> wouldn't go around the world. <sighs> I reckon it would be. I mean, what could I get to the bathroom? <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> I'm sure she's not going to walk. Anyway. I like this. I do. I mean, I'm sure she wasn't hiding it from anybody because she said it so everyone could hear it. I mean, she wasn't like she was trying to whisper it or something. She could have put a note on the counter for the woman if she didn't want anybody to know what she was doing, but she did obviously want people to know what she was doing. Uh, he didn't know her, I don't think. He didn't say if he did. Well, he didn't, so he would have told me if he did. Too much money sometimes. People have got to think I'll do that. I don't know. I could probably think of something else to do with mine if I had that much. I don't really want that much. It would only upset me having all that money. <coughs> I'd have to share it about a bit. Now, there's a bit there that needs to come off <coughs> where the wet thing isn't there. So I haven't got a wipe here. I wonder if that'll do it without making too much mess. Or I'll just leave it there till later. I don't know. I just want to get that bit there, see, where it's blue. Can't get it. Well, you can see that there was... I've got one that's heat one. I bought the heat one, heat pen. <coughs> This is a hot, a hot transfer, hot transfer pen, and it, and that's really good. That works really well. That'll do. I'll fiddle around with that not too much more. See that somewhere we won't make everything wet. Okay. I'll go back under there, I suppose. I have to put this over the end of here again. <coughs> I'm going to go and buy me some ink for the printer today. The cat was on my table for a while here and he got a bit, he gets antsy and aggressive when anyone thinks that you're going to touch any of his stuff that's up here. <laughs> that's all his, you know. It's where he sews. <laughs> Funny little things, aren't they, them cats? Because I let him come in here if I know that if Jeremy's away or something and I know he's not going to be too long and he can come back and move him for me because he's got to give, lift him down. I got him up here, I don't know how, but he, he's really heavy. And um, I suppose he could have jumped up, but I didn't want him to do that in case he landed on something, pin or something. And I picked him up and put him up here, but then when he was here for a while, he started to get, you know, attached to his territory and didn't want me near when he went near what we, he was doing laying there. Thanks. Yep. I'd 
looks good, doesn't it? Everybody, I do like it. Nice. So I've got a bit of pink going up there on that bit, and there's a lighter blue. I have to um, put a bit of red down here too now, I think. Unless I go up with one more row, and I better not have got not enough string there, not enough string, not enough cotton, <laughs> not enough cotton to do that. Okay, so I want to put some beads. I don't know where I'm going to put the beads at though, because you can add anything to it that you want to. <clears throat> now let me see, where's my beads? Needle thingy, a bead needle thingy. I need a bead needle thingy. That's a good, good round the corner one. Yes, I don't know how I'm gonna, it'll be fine though, because it'll just, it'll work, it always does. Cotton, excuse me, I'll just link across there and get some cotton. Red, it doesn't matter what colour cotton you use, I don't think it does. It's never, never been a problem for me before, so I'm going to just do this. I might even make flowers with it, even. Right. With the red beads. I don't know yet. And some in a little potty. Oh dear. You think you've got control, eh? Right? Until it's too late. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> I'll put them on in, in a circle. What do you think? I'll see with that and see what it looks like. So you just come up through your, the back of your work and then you pick up a bead. Now I've got a couple of different sorts here. I've got this one and then there's a plasticky looking thing. I think it looks plastic. I'm not going to use that. It looks plastic. It might not be. And then get it through the bead and back down through the fabric. Keep it fairly taut. You don't want to be be too loose. Some people put a back stitch at, a, at every bead. I, d I don't do that, but it's up to you if you want to put a bead in the back stitch. You can do that. It doesn't necessarily have to. Have, oh, thank goodness I put the lid on that then. But anyway, hubby does have a big voice. <laughs> Sorry about that if it's disturbing you, so... And I'll go up here and... Make sure that it's tight. Somebody is going to say to me, I'd thought you'd use a bead, Sonia. <laughs> oh dear. It's really hard when I go on there to see your names because it's all in one big line that you, you, you um, you, you, what's the name? Was it email? Is it the email that's sitting there where, where you, where you comment? Um, I must write down a few for your names so I can thank you for for all this lovely um what's the name that you do for supporting me and doing things and you support me and um say talk to me and everything and it's really really nice. Oops, that's not going to go through. He's no good. If it won't fit through there, it's not going to go through anything. I tried yesterday just to pick up an ordinary needle because I see some people just using an ordinary needle and it just does not, did not work for me. It did not work for me at all. Did 
did not go through the bead. I had to get the bead needle. Well, only had these little tiny blokes. Where'd you go? Is that the parcel man? I think it is. Be, yeah, he's open in the back. I can hear that. Is he out the front of our place? Would he be bringing me a parcel? I thought I might be getting the team out one today. I don't know. I should, don't think it is. Oh, it might not be him. He's taken off and he hasn't left me a parcel. It mustn't be him. It must be somebody else. Dear, oh dear. What was he doing, that person? I don't know what he did. Should I keep going all the way around or not? I don't know. I'm going to turn. I'm going to end that off there. Now the mum's out there with this squeaky brake. It's all going on. All happening. He must be across the other side of the street, though. Here we go. I think I do like that. It's just different. It's given it a bit of. Um, I don't know, a bit of something, something, isn't it? Now, let me see, what would I like to do next? I thought I was going to put a bit of lace in here, but I, I put that, that's not really lacy looking, is it? This a bit of blue. Nice piece of blue lace. Oh, that looks good. I do like that. Just picking things out willy-nilly. You know, you can just... <laughs> Have whatever you like on whatever you want, hey. I might even pick these up, that'll be a good thing. And then if I feel like putting excuse me, putting more down I will. Too much talking and breathing in air and getting out sorry about that. A little while ago I was gonna sneeze in all this fresh air. <laughs> Beautiful sunshine. Went up the other day, geez it was nice. Sunday. Must have been. I have had to be done a video since then, I think. This one, maybe. Oh, no. The one's for Kate's book, and I'm going to work on that, too. But maybe not on here, I don't think. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I better have a drink. That was not good. Someone got me. I breathed in some fluff. Goodness gracious me. <coughs> but tears to my eyes. Sorry about that. <coughs> I do want to do a little bit more before I go. That's made me a bit weird. <coughs> That's very serious, that one. <laughs> I'm going to put it across that. I think it'll look really good. I wonder what I'll sew it down with. What do I go? Do I go off in this direction of the darker blue? Could have a go and see what it looks like. I don't have to leave it there. I can take it off if I don't want to. Oh. Now that's caught on the paper. Right, oh, come on. Sorry about this, everybody. I didn't mean to. Be sniffing at you, so I'm sorry about that. Now that's gone off there. Goodness me, I'll have to put that back on there. I was fastened to the thread. There. That man hasn't sat still since he's been talking on that phone. He's been walking around. <laughs> he does though, he doesn't know that he sits still. Wanders around all the time while he's talking on the phone or anything else. And I sit still. Sometimes he does, that might have a rest. I'm just going to just capture a little bit of this to start with and see what I think of the dark blue. I 
and one stitch. Now you know if I put this across here, I'm going to have to put some of this elsewhere, this darker one. And I'm not going to do that. I don't like that. I've got to be honest with you, I don't like that at all. It doesn't help it at all. I'm going to stick with the red and that and that blue. So I'm going to use it here, this one. Because this is the one I used, isn't it? it might be two, I've got two the same, but this. Hey, okay, but it doesn't, doesn't look like there's any come off it. No, it's still all there. Must have another, another lot, have I? Probably do. There goes that thing now. Goodness. Oh dear. Has it got written on what that is? Yeah, 16 yard size 18. Oh, I don't need to put that back on there then. That's what all of them say. Don't they? Got a piece of thread in that. He must have been talking to Peggy. Well, that's very good of me. Yeah, he said, I'll tell your mother where you rang. Like I can't hear. <laughs> Never mind. They've already talked to one another, so we know now how she is, because I only rang up to see if she was all right. You know, because I knew from her for a while. Of course, she was all right, but you know what I mean. And she must have had a minute to ring back. She's not working today, as far as I know. That's why I caught her on a Tuesday. Monday, Wednesday, for Friday and Saturday she works, as far as I don't know. And then she's got to go do different other things at other times. And they don't have much time for mothers, do they, your children, do they? Mine, I did have, I had to make room for her to see her because that was what things were like. <laughs> it was, um, I did see her at least once a week and talk to her every day on the phone and um, that's not how it happens with my children my youngest daughter when she moved away which is now nearly eight years ago she used to ring me every day oh she came home to visit me the other day but she doesn't ring me every day now. I don't expect her to do that either because I you wouldn't have nothing to talk about, but you know how it is when they go, they got to, she used to ring me back because she was, you know, probably a bit homesick at first, but she just got the hang of it, I guess, she's right now, she's got a baby to look after, dear little pet, it's a strange thing seeing your baby with a baby, but it's good, I liked it, it was interesting to see how she reacted with, you know, how she, they interacted. Because I've never really seen it either. I'd love to see her teach, you know what I mean? I wish I was could, well, I don't want to be sneaking in there, but you know what I mean? I'd love to see her teaching because it's something I've never, I'm sure she's good at it, she wouldn't be doing, but I just sort of would like to see as she goes. But you can't really, can you? can't just, you know, turn up there and. So, father's cleaning out the deep fryer. I heard him say that because he's going to have scallop for his dinner. Because we found this really good place where you can buy scallops and then you just, oh, they're frozen and, and things, and then you're going to just put them in your deep fryer, which we use a vegetable oil for that. Not one bit fatty, it is really nice. I only have one sometimes, but I don't want, I've, I've got a restriction on my food now for myself I've done a really good job I think I'm using my calorie counting I'm doing counting calories and that way I can eat whatever I like as long as I as long as I do it in moderation and use the calorie counting idea and I feel really so much better because you don't know some things are really bad for you that you don't realize <laughs> and then there's other stuff that you can just eat heaps of if you want to, but I, it takes about 
I don't know, two to three weeks, doesn't it, for your body to decide, you know, if it's changing its ways. <laughs> and I think I've been doing this now for a little while, and I'm really pleased with myself. Jeremy's been helping, of course. He's a good man, and he does help me. He adds up me points. <laughs> and it's really good. You need some sort of a su support system, I think, when you're trying to do something like that, but... Oh, I like that. Look at that. Isn't that, that, that turned out? Isn't that good? I like that, how that turned out. I do. It's awesome, this. Uh, a little bit springy. Right. <coughs> okay. Now, I don't know what else we got to do today. Oh, I left all that on there, did I? Didn't I end that off properly? So the mum's probably bringing rubbish today. I oh, don't know, I think I heard his little machine where they... He's going to everybody's house, he must be putting out paper. Rubbishing paper in the bin or something. People, something people don't want. I oh, don't know, he's missed a few. <laughs> there you go. They don't used to deliver catalogues here once, and you don't, you don't get them anymore. I don't think people wanted to do it because of the big job it is. Our girls did it years ago, one of them did, and she got <laughs> that much of a way. We, she used to bring them around here, so we'd all have to sit there, sit around the lounge room, and we'd all be rolling them up into one parcel, you know. There'd be about ten catalogues. You'd have to put them all into a thing, roll them up, put elastic band on that took ages, and then you got to walk around and deliver them, but then she was driving the car, she sort of drive it <laughs> That sort of defeats the purpose a tiny bit, because you sort of use your petrol money, but anyway, it was all right. She did it for a while, it was a learning, a learning experience, wasn't it? I've got to have these done, Mum, come on, come around, we'll help you do it, so we all <laughs> rolling up these catalogues. But anyway, we have a go at everything, I suppose, you've got to have a try. I like that, I'm going to go now. I hope you're enjoying this, because I am. I'm going to put this on the front of a nice journal one day. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Please leave a thumbs up. Stay safe. Bye-bye.